For the first time in over a year, Indiana State accomplished something that it did just this past weekend with some help from our star, Biggie. Yep, clean sweep of the weekend. We just got done watching film actually of, of our game on Sunday and uh, from just watching it, you can just uh, see our kids playing with so much confidence. Uh, we moved the ball well, we got good looks, our shooting percentage has gone up, uh, we've limited our turnovers and we're just playing good solid basketball right now. And um, the biggest thing is that we, our confidence level is high. It's the uh, consistency uh, that we're seeing with this team. Um, we're starting to see a uh, consistent effort every day. Uh, we know what we're going to get, and that's kind of the biggest thing we've been preaching is that we want to be a team that's very consistent when we play on Fridays and Sundays. And so that's carried over from the practice floor, and I think the results are, are evident. We know about Ashley O'Neill and more than just her sweeping skills. The returns of Kiara Isaiah and Ashley Taya have been really beneficial to this team as well. But it's been the development of freshman Ty Battle that keeps making waves with the coaching staff. Uh, Ty Battle has uh, uh, just gotten better every game, every time out. Uh, again, I use the word confidence a lot. She's playing with a lot of confidence. She, she uh, doesn't look like a freshman anymore. Uh, this early into the season. Uh, she does a lot of things for our team. She plays multiple positions, and uh, it's, it's hard to, to keep her off the floor right now. Those missing pieces from Reagan Whitland's flu game, Ashley Taya gone for a month, Kira Isaiah also over a month, Ashley O'Neill missing the majority of the Bradley win. No matter what is thrown the Sycamore's way, that knocks them down. Just like that old saying goes, Indiana State gets right back up. Uh, the depth that we have on this team, um, you know, we've had missing pieces throughout the course of the season, you know, whether it's injury or uh, foul trouble or what have you. And so we've had different people step up and that's a great thing for our team. It's uh, only going to help us. And uh, it, it's been big in um, that's what that's what we have with this group is we have a lot of interchangeable parts and we have kids that are wanting to play, ready to play. And uh, they stepped up and we need them to. Looking ahead to this weekend, it is a Chicago area trip with Valparaiso to close out the weekend on Sunday. But first up, the Ramblers of Loyola on Friday. Well, the first thing uh, when I watch them on tape is they play very hard. Uh, I know they just came off a tough weekend, uh, Missouri State, uh, Southern Illinois. Um, those two teams can do that to you at their place. Uh, that's a team that uh, already beat Illinois State by three. Who we just saw how good Illinois State is. Uh, and they played Bradley to a two-point game. So they're a dangerous dangerous team. They're still relatively young, uh, but they play extremely hard. We, we just want to continue to feel good. Uh, we want to uh, play the right way. We want to stay confident. Uh, we're not in a position to take anything for granted. Uh, it, it just, we, we obviously got off to a tough start this season and we're starting to see a little bit of success. And that's just the main focus right now is just to continue to do what we're doing, uh, keep things simple, uh, do things the right way and, um, and play with a lot of confidence. For complete coverage on the Sycamores this weekend in Chicago, Stay right here at GoSycamores.com.